So there's all the gear in the back. There's the doubles. I think I wore out my dive instructor today. I did learn to frog kick backwards. Just need a lot more practice. So I believe this is the place that I did my cave diving certification. It's been a long time. Maria, my instructor, is from the Ukraine, living in Mexico. She was recruited as a cave dive instructor. Very good. I'm enjoying learning from her. Okay, started with uh, 3,200 PSI, came out of the water at 1,200 PSI. Several shallow dives for um, cave diving uh, refresher. Um, today was um, April the 8th. It's about four o'clock now, a very long day, very tired. So the first day of diving, my plate weighs about five and a half pounds and I had three four pound weights we did some changing after three dives I ended up diving with uh, zero weights so, uh, took off one took off two one four pounder and then another four pounder and I think I ended with about uh, ten pounds in fresh water. So that's how I'm going to record that in my dive video. Okay, second day of cave diving refresher. Started with 3,500 PSI. Uh, called the dive about 2 p.m. I was getting tired. Um, thighs and um, calves were cramping up. So I didn't want to push it. So I called the dive and we got out and I had 1,400 PSI. I had forgotten how much, how physical this thing is. 32% uh, nitrox both days. Um, that's a very physical. I've got some severe bruising under my armpits. It hurts. Here's the bruising on my arm. That's the bad one. This one over here is pretty bad too. Straps are really tight. Makes me rethink the whole idea of tech diving, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> 